Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to make Aaron from Attack on Titan in his Titan form. Now, before we jump into this tutorial, I should let you know that I uploaded a video a while back asking you if you wanted Pixel Art tutorial parts to be 30 to 45 minutes long or an hour and over an hour long. And for the most part, a lot of you wanted 30 to 45 minute parts, so starting as of today and from now on, Every pixel art tutorial part, regardless of its size and regardless of how much detail it has, is going to be 30 to 45 minutes long, so just keep that in mind. Also, this pixel art tutorial that we're about to work on is going to have several parts to that, so I also want you to keep that in mind. Now, before we get into the tutorial, you should know that if you are playing and on using the Minecraft PE edition, which means pocket edition, so if you're playing Minecraft on your cell phone, which is the iPhone, or an Android, or if you're playing it on your iPod or your iPad, there's a good chance that you don't have all the updates for the Minecraft, so you're going to run into a height limit, which means your Minecraft world is a lot shorter than the regular like Minecraft that you'll find on the PC edition, the Xbox edition, or the PlayStation edition. So I recommend building this pixel art laying down on the ground instead of it being upwards like you saw in the video thumbnail it was going upwards but if you're playing on one of the pocket editions you're gonna have to build it laying down like this on the ground so just keep that in mind now before i list off the blocks we're going to be needing for this pixel art tutorial i'm going to kind of have to ask you to put the blocks laying down in front of your pixel art that way if you decide to take a break from the tutorial you can go fly to a different part of your world build something else or maybe you can go visit someone else's world and when you come back you'll know exactly which blocks you'll be needing uh, in your inventory to continue the tutorial and also if your friend decides to join your minecraft world they can see all the different type of blocks that went into making the pixel art so the blocks that you're going to be needing for this pixel art are the block of coal the black wool the light gray wool the white wool the snow block the sand block the birch plank the oak plank the jungle plank the spruce plank the melon block and the green wool so these are the type of blocks we're going to be needing in our inventory so go ahead and put those in so we don't get Confuse, and we don't have to search all of this stuff just to get it. So, let's fly over to the center block. Now, the center block is pretty much the marker of where the middle of this pixel art is going to be, so I'm going to have to ask you to find a very large area in your Minecraft world, because this is going to be one of those large pixel arts as well. So, put a black wool anywhere where you like the pixel art to be centered, and we're going to start counting on the right side of it. Now, before I actually have you count, I need you to pay attention to it, and when I say pause the video, then I'm going to have to ask you to do what I just told you to. So first, I just need you to pay attention. Don't do anything just yet until I say so. So starting on top of this grass block on the right side of the black wool, so starting from here, you're going to count all the way up to the number 102. Now again, don't do it just yet. Just listen. Starting on top of this grass block. So this is going to be 1. This is going to be 2, 3, 4. And you're going to keep doing this all the way until you reach the number 102. Now I do recommend counting with different type of blocks. I'll give you an example real quick. So if you would count 10 uh, melons and then switch to 10 greens, then switch to 10 melons, then 10 greens, 10 melons. That way you don't lose count. But when you do hit the grass block, that is 102. So when you hit the grass block, uh, you're going to have to get rid of the grass block and switch to a bookshelf. It's a placement block. If you're new, I'll explain later. So go ahead and put a placement block there, uh, the block that you broke that was 102. So go ahead and pause the video now to do that. Count all the way to 102. Break the grass block that is 102 and put a placement block there. This is going to be important so we don't make any mistakes. All right, so once you've done that, we're going to be flying all the way back to the center block, which is the black wall. Now starting on the left side this time, so starting on top of this grass block, this time we're going to count all the way up to the number 97. So that's 97, 97. This grass block being the first one that you count. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. And I do recommend counting with like blocks that you place so you don't lose count. So we're going to go all the way to the left, counting all the way up to the number 97. And we're going to be breaking the grass block. That is 97. And we're going to go ahead and put a placement block there in its place. So go ahead and pause the video now to do that. 
So once you've done that, we're going to be starting this pixel art off by using the black wall. So starting on top of the placement block that was on the left side of the black wall, the one that's 97. So from here, we're just going to be placing one black wall. So that's one. And now we're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Now I do use terms in my pixel art tutorials if you're completely brand new to uh, the way I make pixel art tutorials. So I'll give you a quick rundown. And I also recommend using the placement block, which is this. I don't want you to do, let's say, if I say press or this is just an example. I don't uh, don't want you to do this. For example, I don't want you to do three diagonal. If I say three diagonal up to the left, I don't want you doing this. I don't want you doing this. See what I'm doing right there? I don't want you doing that. I'd rather you do this. That way you know exactly which type of block you're going to get rid of. And we're going to have a lot of blocks that are like this as well. Because this is large and I don't want you making any mistakes. And there's other reasons why I use the placement block as well. And now just going back into this quick little tutorial of uh, the terms. This is what a three sets of three looks like. There's three sets essentially that means three groups. And in each group, there's going to be two blocks, hence three sets of twos, so three twos. So that was one, two, one, one, two, two, two groups, and one, two, three, a total of three groups. I do use terms in my tutorials just to make it go faster, and that was just a quick little short tutorial for those of you who are completely new. Okay, I just need you to keep up. Believe me, there's a learning curve to it, but you'll understand it. So now we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now place 22 blocks going up on the left. That's 22. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22. Now let's fly down, get rid of the placement block. And now we're going to be flying back up. Now, if, if the tutorial is going a little too fast for you, make sure to hit that pause button. You don't want to make any mistakes. So don't, don't feel pressured in the fact that you have to keep going fast. Believe me, it's not worth making a mistake just because you didn't want to hit the pause button. Okay, so now we're going to be placing six blocks going up on the right side. So we're switching sides going up on the right, six blocks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the left. Or not the left, excuse me, the right. Going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. So that's three, uh, two sets of threes. <laughs> Getting mixed up there. So that's what it should look like. Again, I'll recap it. I said two sets of threes. So the first number is always going to be the amount of groups. The second number you hear is going to be how many are in that group so i said two sets which means two groups and i said of threes so two sets of threes three or two groups and there were three blocks in so this is the first group one two three this is the second group one two three and that's what two sets of threes looks like it's very simple math believe me you'll start understanding the more i do it and don't worry i won't go as slow as this okay so now we're going to be placing four sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two. That's a total of four. So again, I'll do a little recap for the new people. This is what four sets of twos looks like. So there was a total of four groups, and in each group, there was two blocks. This is the first group, one, two. This is the second group, one, two. Third group, one, two. Fourth group, one, two. So again, it's very simple. And by now, I feel like you guys should know. For, again, for these are for the new people that are new to my tutorials. It's very simple, and it shouldn't be too hard to get along with this whole new term thing if you're new to it. So let's get rid of the placement blocks now. And I don't think I'll have to explain the sets anymore. I feel like you know it. Again, remember, first number, groups. Second number, how many blocks in those groups. Okay, so now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now place two sets of twos going up on the right from this one block. So that's one, two, one. 
one, two, two. So it should look like that. Let's get rid of these. And now we're going to be placing 10 blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now let's get rid of these placement blocks. Let's fly back up here. And I place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And I place one block going up to the right. That's one. And I can't stress enough, I really do want you guys to be using the placement blocks. Because if you don't use the placement blocks, this pixel art is large enough for you to make at least one mistake. Even if you feel like you follow the tutorial. If you don't believe me, go back and check out any of my pixel art tutorials that uh, I've posted. I'm, I'm pretty much, I guarantee you that there's always going to be one person or many people complaining why they're one block off. How come it's not matching this block to that block or that block to this block? And for some people, or most people I'd like to believe, is because they didn't use the placement block and they accidentally deleted a block that wasn't supposed to get deleted or broken or whatever you want to call it. But regardless, the placement block will always ensure that you'll know which type of block doesn't belong. So I encourage you to use it. We're going to be using it for other parts as well, not just uh, placeholders like this. So just keep that in mind. So get used to the placement block. It'll help you out. Now, from this one block, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So going across. So that's one, two, one. One, two, that's two. And one, two, that's three. Three sets of twos. And of course, pause the video if you need to, just to catch up. Okay, so now we're going to be placing 12 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's fly over, get rid of the placement block. Let's fly back. And from here, we're going to be placing six blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's get rid of the placement block. And I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should be looking exactly like this. Don't worry, I will be flying back here and there just in case you might have made a mistake and you need to look a little further back on where we left off. So I'll be doing that occasionally. So now we're going to be making our way back over here to the six blocks across that we placed. And from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one. And now we're going to be switching over to the placement block, and we're going to be putting one placement block on top of the black wall. So there. Now, don't get rid of this until I tell you to. We're going to be switching over to the block of coal. So let's switch over to the block of coal now. Starting on top of this placement block, we're going to be adding five blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Again, this is with the block of coal. Now once you've done that, we're going to move back over here to the placement block. And starting on the right side of it, so starting from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going down. So that's one, two, and three. So it should look like that. Now we can go ahead and get rid of the placement block. And now we're going to be switching back over to the black wall. Now let's head to the top block of these three block of coals. So starting from the top block on the right side, we're going to be placing one black wall. So that's one. And now from this one black wall, we're going to be placing another black wall going up to the right. So that's one. Now from this block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. So it should look like this so far. Now we're going to be switching over to the block of coal. And with the block of coal, let's head back down here to the bottom block of these three block of coal. So starting from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three. 
And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. Now from here, we're going to be switching over to the placement block. And we're going to be putting one placement block on the top block on the right side of the two block of holes here. So from the top block on the right, put one placement block there. Then switch back over to the block of coal, starting on the right side of this placement block. So starting from here, we're going to be placing nine blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine block of coals. Let's head back up, and we can go ahead and get rid of that placement block. Now we're going to make our way back down here again, back to the bottom block of these nine. So from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And now place two sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now something also very, very, very important to note is that I need you to get comfortable with not just my voice, because it's easy to get comfortable with my vocal instructions and not pay attention to the video, but I am human, so there is a chance I'll make a mistake. So if I say, place three blocks going to the right, and in the video I'm going to the left, then that's just my mistake. I accidentally said right instead of left. When I meant left, I accidentally said right, and if you're only listening to my vocal instructions, you're only listening to the video instead of watching it, then there's a good chance you'll probably make a mistake. So I need you to also pay attention to the video. Do not just get comfortable with my vocal instructions. Don't just listen to it, but make sure you're also watching it. And when in doubt, if I say left, you see me go right. When in doubt, always do what the video shows, because the video is always going to be right. Sometimes my vocal instructions might be wrong by accident. You know, I might say up by accident when I meant down, or left when I meant right. So please make sure you're paying attention to the video. Okay. So now we're going to move back up here to the top block of the nine block of coals. So starting from here, we're going to be placing 12 blocks going up on the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now that we have our 12 blocks, what we're going to do next is we're going to fly back down here. And we can go ahead and keep this placement block uh, underneath the bottom block of the 12 because we're going to be needing it. So starting from the bottom block of the 12 block of coals that we just placed, uh, we're going to be placing 4 blocks going down on the right. So... That's one, two, three, four. Let's fly up, get rid of that placement block. Now let's fly back down. Now starting from the bottom block of these uh, four block of coals. So from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. Switching sides going down to the left. So that's one and two. So it should look like this. And while we're here, we're going to be switching over to the black wool for just a sec. And we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the black wool. So let's fill that in with the black wool. All right. Now we're going to be switching over to the block of coal. Let's head back up here to where we had these four blocks going down on the right. So starting from the top block of these four. So from here, we're going to be placing 11 blocks going up on the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Fly back down, get rid of that placement block. Now we're going to head back up. And now we're going to be placing 9 blocks going up on the right. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 9 blocks. Let's fly down, get rid of that placement block. Let's head back up. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now place four blocks going up on the left. So we're switching sides now. Going up on the left, we're going to be placing four. So that's one, two, three, four. And now place seven blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. 
to fly back down, get rid of that placement block, and I'll fly back a bit so you can see what we've done so far. And of course, as you may have seen on the right side of the screen, the YouTube video that you're watching this on, uh, you can see the pixel art coming to life there. I also have that there, so you can use that as a reference just in case you need to see further back on the progress we've made. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to fly all the way back down here. Back to where we had the 12 blocks, the top block of the 12 blocks that we had going up. It's just above this small area that we filled in with the black wall. So let's head back up here to the top block of the 12. So from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing five blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. Next, you're going to be placing seven blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two. Now we're going to be placing seven blocks going up on the right. So we're switching sides now, going up on the right. We're going to be placing seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to fly down, get rid of that placement block. Now we're going to head back to these two blocks that we had going up on the left. So let's head back to these two here. Starting from the bottom block of these two, starting from this block here, we're going to be placing seven blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's fly up, get rid of that placement block, and now we're going to fly back down. And now we're going to be placing 11 blocks going down on the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Now the 11th block that we just placed should be making contact with these 5 block of coals that we previously placed here. So it should be making contact like this. So now let's fly up and get rid of that placement block. And now what we're going to be doing next is, to make this a lot easier for us, we're going to fly all the way back up here to the very top so far of this pixel art that we've made. So let's go all the way back up here to these seven block of coals that went up on the right from these two blocks. So going back all the way up here to the top block of these seven. So from here, we're going to switch over to a placement block. And on the left side of the top block, we're going to be putting one placement block. So put one block there. And now we're going to be switching back over to the block of coal. Starting on the left side of the placement block, we're going to be adding five block of coals going up. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's fly down, get rid of that placement block there. Now, starting from the bottom block of the five, or of the five uh, block of coals that we had here, so starting from there, we're going to be placing six blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six blocks. And now we're going to be placing 13 blocks going down on the left. So that's 13 down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So that's a total of 13 blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see how everything should be looking so far. Four of the blocks that we've just placed here, of the 13, four of them made contact with these 11 blocks. So as you can see, I'll count it for you. That's one, two, three, four. Four blocks of the 13 that we just placed made contact with the 11 blocks that we had here. All right, so Let's head all the way back up now, going back to the top so far. And now the top is these five black walls. So let's, or not black walls, but 
five block of coal. So let's head back up here to the top block of the five block coal, uh, block of coals. So from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. So it's one, two, one, and one, two, two. So it should look like this so far. Okay, make sure to hit that pause button if you need to. Now we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's uh, one. Now let's switch over to a placement block, and on the left side of this one block of coal, we're going to be putting one placement block on the left side of it, so that's one, so it should look like that. Now we're going to switch over to the block of coal. Don't get rid of this placement block until I tell you to. On top of this placement block, we're going to be placing two placement blocks going, or two block of coals going up on top of it. So that's one and two. Now starting on the left side of it, we're going to be placing one block of coal of this placement block. So put one block of coal there, so it should look like this. Now let's get rid of that placement block. Now let's head back over here to this block. That we placed the on the left side of the placement block there. So starting from here, right there, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two. And now place three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's four sets of twos down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. Let's head back down here. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. Let's get rid of the placement block. Now we're going to be switching back over to the placement block, starting on top of these three block of coals that we just had going down. On top of it, we're going to be placing two placement blocks going up. So that's one and two. So it should look like this. Now don't get rid of these two placement blocks until I tell you to. We're going to switch over to the block of coal, starting on top of these two placement blocks. So starting from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going up. So that's one, two, three. So it should look like that. Now, starting from the top block on the left side of these two placements, starting from there, so from right here, we're going to be placing eight blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to fly back up. And now we're going to get rid of these placement blocks. So just, let's just, you know, let's get rid of them. Okay, now we're going to start from the top block of these three block of coal. So starting from there, we're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the right. So that's two sets of threes, two groups, three blocks. So that's one, two, three. That's one group. One, two, three. That's two groups. So that's two sets of threes. So I'll fly back a bit. So you can go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. And I do always recommend pausing the video so you can compare so you don't make any single mistakes. Just being one block off can fire pixel art tutorial off for you. <laughs> Some things won't connect to others, especially when we get further on in the other tutorial parts for this tutorial of Aaron, the Titan form. Things won't match up if you get at least one block off. Alright, so let's get rid of the placement blocks. Now we're going to head back down here, going back to the bottom block of the eight blocks that we had going down from the placement blocks. So starting from the bottom block of the eight, we're going to be placing what is known as a linked blocks. Now linked blocks don't require placement blocks to be placed. 
because linked blocks are connected. So if you're new, this is what it looks like. We're going to be placing a linked 5 going down on the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now a linked block is always going to start from wherever I tell you we're about to start from. So usually it would be a placement block, and I would have you put a placement block, and it would start right there, and then I would count to 5. But linked blocks don't require placement blocks because they're connected to that. Again, that's just a small explanation for those people that are completely new and this is the first time they're seeing uh, my pixel art tutorial so those are linked blocks and i need you to you know pay s close attention super close attention to when i say linked blocks because you don't want to again one simple block right there one block being off one block it's just going to throw everything off and you don't want that but don't worry every time uh we encounter linked blocks i will emphasize the word linked and it will be annoying just to make sure you get it in your head that we're going to be placing links. Okay, so now we're going to be placing six blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's fly up, get rid of that placement block. Let's fly back down. And now we're going to be placing 16 blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 16 blocks. Now we're going to fly all the way back up and get rid of that placement block. And now we're going to switch over to the placement block and we're going to fly all the way back down here. And we're going to start underneath the 16 block of coals that we had going down on the left. Now this is going to pretty much make sure you're doing everything correctly so far. We're going to be adding six placement blocks underneath the the 16 block of coals here. So add six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, if it's making contact with the, uh, the 12th block of these 12 black wools that we had going across, so if it's a perfect fit like this, the block of coal and the black wool are connected by these six placement blocks. That means you're doing everything correctly so far. So go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. And if for whatever reason not making contact, try using the right screen. Or try going back and seeing where you may have gone wrong. Probably misplaced a block here and there. It's better to find out that you've misplaced a block now than it is hours into the tutorial only to figure out that you might have made a mistake somewhere else. Oh, it's always better to find a mistake in part one if you've made a mistake than it is to find a mistake if you made a mistake in like part four. Okay, so now we're going to be switching over to the uh, block of coal. We're going to head all the way back up, back to where we had these two sets of threes uh, going up on the right from these other threes that we already had placed here underneath or on top of the placement block that we had here. So let's go all the way up here. Don't get it confused with up there. Those two block of coals were down here, these two sets of threes. So starting from this block here, we're going to be placing... It's actually going to be uh, quite a long. It's going to be those sets, okay? Uh, we're going to be placing s uh, seven sets of twos going up on the right. So that's seven sets of twos. Seven groups, two blocks each. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. One, two, six. And one, two, seven. That's seven sets of twos. So let's fly down and get rid of the placement blocks. Okay. Now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So place one up to the right. That's one. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. 
And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. So I'll fly back a bit, because that was a lot of uh, the consistent pattern of 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So it should look like this. From that 1, we add 2, then 1, then 2, then 1, then 2. Alright, so now we're going to be placing 12 blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's 12. Diagonal. That's 1, 2, 3, three oops. That's three, there we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That's twelve placement blocks. Or not placement blocks, but twelve block of coals. Which in total it does add up to twelve placement blocks that we get rid of. So it should look like this. Again, twelve. Alright, so let's fly back up here. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. That's two across, okay. And now we're going to be placing four blocks diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, and four. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And I'll place one block going up to the right. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of threes going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Now that we've done that, we're going to be placing ten blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's fly over, get rid of that placement block, and now we're going to be flying back over here. And now from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Nope, four. <laughs> Not five, but four. I miscounted there for a second. <laughs> Out of there, one by accident. Okay, so that's four. Not five. Again, four. So recounting, that's one, two, three, four. I'm going to get rid of the placement block now. Fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like this. And I know that might have confused some people, so I'll do a little quick recap. We already had the 10 blocks here that we had going across. And then on the lower level to the right, we had these four. Again, I'll just recount it. That's one, two, three, four. Didn't want to ac accidentally confuse you by accidentally counting all the way up to five instead of four. So we have these four here. Now, starting on the right side of the four block of coals here, we're going to be placing a linked two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's a linked two lower level to the right. So that's one and two. As you can see, no placement block needed. And now from the right block of the linked two blocks here, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. So that's one. Now we're going to be making back... Uh, yeah, let's make our way back up here to the four block of coals. So going back over here to these four, starting from the right block of the four. So from here, we're going to move one block over to the left. So let's move one to the left, and it's right here. This is our starting point. Now starting on top of this block, so from there, we're going to be placing one block. Let's so place one block there, so it should look like that. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be placing five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. 
Once you've done that, we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Now keep these four blocks here in mind because we're going to be returning to them in just a bit. Now starting from the left block of the four, we're going to be placing a linked three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's a linked, a linked. So that's one, two, three. So it should look like that. No placement block needed. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now we're going to be placing eight blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see what we've done so far. And of course you can pause the video now if you need to just to compare. So now we're going to make our way back up here, going back where I said, keep in mind, we're going to return to these. Let's go back to these four blocks that we had going across on the upper level to the left. They're also making contact with this linked three blocks that we had here. So going back over here to these four block of coals, we're going to start from the right block of these four. So starting from this block right there, we're going to be placing five blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now, once you've done that, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level, on the lower level to the right. Three blocks across. So, that's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So, that's three sets of twos. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. And one, two. That's three. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. Let's fly back down here. And now we're going to be placing a linked three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's a linked three. So that's one, two, three. Again, no placement block needed. And now starting from the middle block of these linked three three blocks here, starting underneath the middle block of these three. We're going to be placing one block of coal, so place one block there so we get this T-shape. And now we're going to move over here, back to the right block of these linked three blocks. We're going to start on top of the three blocks, on the right side of it, so starting from here, starting from right there. We're going to be placing three blocks diagonal up to the right, starting on top of the right block, so that's one there. That's two, and that's three. And it should look exactly like this. With this one block starting on top of the right. All right now let's get rid of the placement blocks. And let's head back up here. Now from here we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So two sets of twos. It's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of those. Now we're going to be placing two sets of fives going across on the upper level to the right. So two fives. That's one, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, and that's two. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. Let's fly back over here. And now we're going to be placing five blocks going across on the lower level, the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Let's get rid of that. Let's fly back over here. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So two sets of twos, that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the placement block. 
Now with the placement block starting on the left side of these two block of coals here, starting on the left. So from there, we're going to be placing two placements going across to the left. So that's one and two. So it should look like that. Now don't get rid of these placement blocks until I tell you to. We're going to switch back over to the block of coal, starting underneath the left block of these two placements. So starting from there, we're going to be adding six block of coals going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to make our way back over here, starting on the left side of these two placement blocks. So from there, we're going to be placing 12 block of coals going across to the left. So 12. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we're going to be making our way back and getting rid of those two placement blocks. Let's head back over here, back to the left side of the 12. Now starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's 1, 2. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now let's get rid of that placement block. Let's fly all the way back over here, going back to where we had the six block of coals going across. So let's go back over here to these six. We're going to start from the right block of the six block of coals. So starting from this block here, the right, we're going to be moving one block over to the left. So starting from here, move one block to the left. Now we're here at this block right there. We're going to start underneath this block. So starting from there, we're going to be placing four blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three, and four. And it should look like this. Now we're going to be placing a linked two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one. No, that's one, two. So that's what a linked two blocks should look like. Again, make sure to pause the video if you have to. And now we're going to be placing two blocks diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And let's see, we're going to switch over to the placement block. We're going to make our way back over here, back to where we had the six block of coals that we had going across. So let's go back over here to the six. We're going to start on the left side of the six blocks. So starting from there, I'll put a placement block to show you. We're going to be adding a two placement blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two. Again, I'll fly back a bit so you can see where the placement blocks should be. Now we're going to switch over to the block of coal, and we're going to be placing one block on the left side of these two placement blocks. So put one block there. Now we can go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. And now let's head back over here to this one block, because this is where we're going to start from. Now from here, we're going to be placing five sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So five sets of twos. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, and 1, 2, 5. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like that. Five sets of twos. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. Let's head back down here. And now we're going to be placing four blocks diagonal down to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing ten blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 10. That's a total of 10 blocks diagonal. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. There we go. Let's make our way all the way back down. 
And now we're going to be placing from uh, where we had these 10. What we're going to do now is place five sets of twos going down on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, and one, two, five. So that's five sets of twos. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. Let's head back down here. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, we're going to be placing two sets of threes going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, that's one, and one, two, three, that's two. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two. And now place two blocks diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. So it should look like that. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And now place two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the right. That's one. And now place two blocks going down on the right. That's one. And two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing five sets of twos going down on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four. And one, two, five. Now let's go back and get rid of the placement blocks. And now I'm going to fly back a bit so you can see what we've done so far in this section. And you can go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So I'm going to pause here and continue my Aaron Titan form pixel art tutorial in part two, which should be out soon. So Keep an eye out for that. And of course, guys, you can always go ahead and check out the other pixel art tutorials that I've made. I've also made someone else from Attack on Titan. You might know him as Levi, the captain of the uh, Scout Regiment, I believe it is. I'm not sure. Don't hate me if that's incorrect because I haven't watched Attack on Titan in like almost a year. But I love it. I love the anime Attack on Titan. Looking forward to watching it the second season as well. So, again, guys, make sure to stay tuned in for the second part of the Attack on Titan. And make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.